What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So this year we got three brand new pixels. We got the Pixel 4a, we got the Pixel 4a 5G and of course the Pixel 5. But in today's video we are comparing the Pixel 4 with the Pixel 4a 5G. And by now I had enough time to use both devices as my primary devices so I know everything there is to know about them. First of all, pricing. Well, the 4A 5G is about 25-30% to 30 more expensive than the 4A, but in my opinion that's pretty fair because the 4A 5G does offer a few extra features. Now, those features may not be for everyone, but we are gonna go over everything. So if you're looking for the absolute cheapest Google phone, well, the Pixel 4A is basically your only option. So the two phones do look very similar, of course the Pixel 4a 5G is a bit larger but we'll talk about that in a bit. So the backs are made out of the same material which is plastic and we also have the same fingerprint scanner on the back. I've also tried the fingerprint scanners on both devices and they seem to be just as quick on either device, so no difference for that. At the top we get um, 3.5mm audio jacks um, on both devices and both devices have dual speakers so we have a speaker at the top and one at the bottom and I also want to mention the speakers do sound um, the same and both devices so the 4a and the 4a 5g sound better than the pixel 5 which is kind of funny because that one is the most expensive um, out of the three. Both devices use OLED displays that um, are covered by Gorilla Glass 3, so the same scratch resistance, we have the same resolution which is 1080p, but of course the screen on the Pixel 4a is a bit smaller, so this one gets a 5.8 inch screen, where the Pixel 4a 5G gets a 6.2 inch screen, so if you want the biggest screen, of course the Pixel 4a 5G will probably be your only option. Now color wise they do seem identical, um, the same for um, viewing angles and brightness. So I kind of feel that they are using the exact same panel on both devices, so really no difference except for the size. Even the front facing cameras are the same and they are also positioned the exact same spot um, on the device and it doesn't matter if you take pictures during the day or at night, both devices do identical with the front facing cameras. And the same kind of goes for the main cameras on the back. Now with the Pixel 4a 5G we do get an extra lens, this is an ultra wide lens. So if you absolutely need an ultra wide lens on your device, um, the 4a 5G is basically your only option or the Pixel 5. So we don't get that um, with the Pixel 4a. Once again I took a bunch of pictures in a lot of um, different places and both devices seem to do identical um, with the main lens on the back. So it doesn't matter which device you get, you're gonna get the exact same um, really good looking pictures. And I've done a bunch of camera comparisons with these devices as well. So I will leave some links in the video's description just in case um, you wanna check any of those out. Now there is a, a difference that I've noticed um, whenever you're recording video with the Pixel 4a 5G and of course um, the Pixel 4a. So the video quality seems to be a bit better from the Pixel 4a 5G. Also the videos are a bit sharper and the colors are a bit more um, vibrant and um, the wind reduction is also better um, from the Pixel 4a 5G. So for video quality yes there is a bit of a difference between um, the two. And uh, personally I believe that has to do with the different processor inside the, these two devices. So on the Pixel 4a 5G we get the Snapdragon 765, where on the Pixel 4a we get um, the Snapdragon 730. Now if you check the scores on the Antutu benchmark there is a difference there um, for the score, but as a regular user I don't think you're gonna notice that difference um, when you're using apps basically. So I tried opening the exact same apps at the exact same time on both devices, and for a couple of apps, yes, the Pixel 4a 5G seems to be a bit faster at opening those apps, but either than that I haven't really noticed a difference when I'm, I'm scrolling through my feed or anything like that. So yes, you do get a somewhat higher score um, on the Antutu benchmark on this one, but uh, that difference isn't that big when you're actually using the devices. And we also get the same um, 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. And with the Pixel 4a 5G you also get four new levels of image stabilization whenever you're recording video. And um, once again I believe that has to do with the new processor that we have inside the, the Pixel 4a 5G. And also 4K at 60 frame uh, per second recording, something that we don't get um, with the Pixel 4a. So these are the main differences for the cameras that uh, probably have a lot to do with the new processor they used inside the Pixel 4a 5G compared to the Pixel 4. Next we are moving on to battery life and of course since the Pixel 4a 5G is a larger device they are able to fit a larger battery inside it. 
Now, battery life um, with the Pixel 4a 5G I can get just over 9 hours of screen on time, where um, with the Pixel 4a I can typically get between 7 hours to 8 hours of screen on time. So if you're looking for the device that gets the best battery life, I feel that there is uh, no comparison, the Pixel 4a 5G will do really good. But considering the size of this on the 4a, uh, I think 7 hours of screen on time is really, really good and still better than a lot of other devices available on the market. But this is always uh, the case with the devices that don't have the top um, flagship CPU, for example. Because if these two devices would have had like the Snapdragon 865, we wouldn't be able to get 9 hours of screen time on this and 7 hours of screen time on this. It would probably be like 6 hours and 5 hours um, of screen on time. So battery life is great on both, but the Pixel 4a 5G will get um, better battery life. And of course, we also get 5G connectivity on the Pixel 4a 5G, just like the name suggests. But if you are like me and you don't necessarily want to pay extra for a 5G plan, I feel that that doesn't matter um, at this point. So I was very happy with the Pixel 4a till I got this one. And now I'm uh, mostly using this one because we have a bigger screen. I personally love bigger screens and better battery life. Somewhat better battery life, I'm going to say. So there you have it, the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 4a 5G. So hopefully with this video, I made it a bit easier um, so you can choose the right phone for you. If you want the smallest phone out there, because this is one of the smallest phones available on the market with the 5.8 um, inch screens, the Pixel 4a is still a really good device and you're going to be able to use this for um, the upcoming years without any issues. But if you want something a bit bigger, um, I feel that the Pixel 4a 5G may be the better um, option for you. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.